just excited to get out there and experience Boston for the first time. It's been like so long overdue to get to race this race. So, um, especially it's my first race in almost six months, the longest I've ever gone without racing. So I can't wait to get out there and compete again. It's been challenging. It's the longest stretch of injury I've ever had. I haven't had too many injuries relatively in my career. So, um, so that's been hard at times, but I've always found injuries make me stronger, like mentally as well as physically. I figured out how to cross train to my advantage, and, and this one was no different. So my last PR last year was off of eight weeks of training after injury as well. So that gives me confidence that going into this, I think I'm gaining confidence on the roads and just more experience. And I think the, the longer I do this, the more free of fearing failure I am. Like I just, I literally feel really free to like race however. If I make a mistake or like, you know, I go too hard at some point, there's always another race and it's not as tied to like my identity and I don't really have as much fear as maybe other points in my career. Every buildup I run has gotten like significantly faster and it's like been very successive. So I don't feel my age at all and I think um, what might have helped me is just starting the marathon later. Like I was running miles here not that long ago. I was running the BAA mile and, and actually kind of got a little too far away from the strength work. So I think I think I have some more miles in the tires for sure. <laughs> I've never seen her this fit before, so that's kind of a good, good thing, you know, that's how you want to go to the starting line, is like I'm in the best shape of my life, and now let's go see what happens, so she's fit, she's ready. I feel like his mental approach to this race is, is so different from a lot of people, like a lot of people are afraid of the downhills beating them up, they're afraid of the uphills, and Ryan really ran like fearlessly and just really embraced the downhills, like I think it's more of like a mental perspective, and we've tried to simulate that in training. The thing with Boston is it's so crowded everywhere that even if I get on the course, I don't think she'd see or hear me. So, I, like, I really want to see it selfishly. So, I think I'm going to go to the finish line.